In today's modern world, screens are absolutely everywhere for my children, for my family and for yours. So the Tony's box and the Yoto box are a real welcome change in the market, providing that screen-free, child-friendly and portable audio player. So both the Yoto box and the Tony's box have the same promise really, and that's to expand the imagination of young children with screen-free um, possibilities and adventures. But we're going to actually look at today about how the Tony's box differs. Obviously, there'll be a box that's suitable for um, every family out there. And I'm kind of doing this video as a mum, really, as an opinion of having used both. And I just want to give a few summaries on how they differ. So the Tony's box is aimed at children aged three plus. So it's a slightly earlier, slightly diverse age range compared with the Yoto box, which is we say normally about seven years plus just because of the nature of the content. So it's really nice that we've got a lot of a broader range depending on the age of your children. Um, it's great if you've got siblings, they can all use it together, knowing that it's really child friendly from a lot earlier age. So that's one of the key differences. Um, the other thing is that although they're both cube shaped, so very similar in kind of look, actually in feel and everything else they're slightly different so the tony's box is super super padded super super soft um, really squashy and also really durable so um i actually feel i can trust my three-year-old with one of these um he can drop it he can bash it he can do anything with it um and they're really really durable um and really, really sturdy what i found with the yoto box is i probably wouldn't trust him with that um it is a hard plastic um, you can get a silicon skin for it but i even found then i just don't think it's going to last if he was throwing it around the rate he does um so i really like the tony's box is super soft and squashy and it does actually make it a little bit more sturdier because of that cushioning as well and also from a texture point of view, it's really, really nice for those younger children as well um, to have fun with and to squash about and play with. So that's another one of the core differences as well. The other thing as well is in terms of how they operate with the content is we have the Tony's figures for the Tony's, a hand painted range of lovely little figurines all from popular stories like the Gruffalo here. We've got the creative Tony's, um, we've got some story time Tony's. And the thing I think the children like about these compared with Yoto cards is that they are highly collectible and they're already magnetic so my children stick on the radiator they're playing about with them even without the tony's box so it does sort of introduce a completely new level of play and um it's just they just really like it you know you can imagine you know seeing finding nemo um watching the film and then noticing that you've got a tony's to match as well they're beautiful little handcrafted um characters um which i think are just so much nicer um, than the cards um especially for my two young ones who are three and five so they really enjoy those um, it means in terms of longevity, they're playing with them without the Tony's box and also with. So I kind of find that, uh, yes, I could invest in a lot of Tony's because they're getting a lot of value and a lot of play out of it.